if you've been following what's going on in Israel with the buildup of U.S. troops and also the different games, war games that are going on both in uh, with Iran and the planned ones also with the U.S. and Israel, uh, you know that uh, something big is about to happen. Frankly, I don't believe that it will turn out to be war at this time. I think uh, before Iran uh, gets crazy enough to go to war with the United States that they will uh, back down. Of course, that's speculation. Nobody really knows the uh, truth of what the future holds, but I do not believe the Bible supports that uh, Iran, Israel, or the United States will uh, go to war in the very near future, at least not before the Ezekiel 38-39 prophecy, which would be Gog and Magog. Of course, there could be a conflict that could uh, explode. Uh, I don't believe it will be it'll break out into a full war, and I don't think anybody really wants it to, to break into a full war. Uh, believe it or not, this has happened between the U.S. and Iran in the past, and uh, it did uh, dissolve before full war did break out. And you can bet Iran certainly has uh, full memory of what happened the, the last time something of this uh, took place, so they're in no hurry to be overwhelmed by U.S. power. So at this point, I would probably say that there's a lot of posturing going, going on, both between the U.S. and Iran. And at the same time, I don't believe that Iran is in any uh, hurry to shut down the Strait of Hormuz because of the fact that not only would it would harm the global economy, but it would also harm their own economy. They also have product that they want to move, and uh, it also flows through that channel or waterway. This is just an update of some of the information uh, that has gone on this week that I just wanted to comment on. Uh, what I really want to report on is uh, something that I've known for some time, but uh, just haven't got around to report about it. In a recent article by Computer World uh, back in September of 2011, uh, it uh, did a little article on uh, the uh, Stuxnet uh, worm or virus that found its way in the nuclear facility in Iran back in June of 2009. This is what the article says. First of all, the title is Nuclear Warheads Could Be Next Stuxnet Target Checkpoint. Due to the complexity and sophistication of the code contained within the Stuxnet worm, the possibility of it being used to take control of a nuclear warhead is high, according to a security expert. At Checkpoint Sydney conference this week, Checkpoint Israeli security evangelist Tomer Teller said he analyzed the code of the Stuxnet worm, which was used to uh, take control of a nuclear facility in, in uh, Iran in June of 2009. This is a huge file. It's one megabyte of code, and I respect the skill required to engineer that code, as it is very complex, he said. Teller confirmed the code in Stuxnet could be modified to launch new SCADA attacks. Nuclear warheads are controlled by computers, so if someone managed to slip a worm inside a facility that uh, will reach the warhead component, they could launch it and then aim it back at the country's facility, he said. Stuxnet is the first cyber weapon that could cause major disruption. While Teller is uncertain which uh, country was behind the Iranian nuclear facility attack. He said a USB stick was the most likely uh, method used to carry the worm inside the facility. However, Teller also mentioned a rogue employee may have helped compromise the facility's internal security defenses first to help the rapid spread of Stuxnet. He explained that in order to insert certificates embedded within Stuxnet, uh, into a Windows 64-bit system. It had to be trusted by Microsoft. In order to get something trusted by Microsoft, you need to get those exploits, uh, those exploits signed, Teller said. What we think happened is that an insider broke into J. Micron, a chip manufacturer, uh, manufacturing company based in Taiwan, as there is a computer at that office which is dedicated to signing these Microsoft drivers. According to Teller, Stuxnet 
is a blueprint for future SCADA attacks and he is aware that people have downloaded and modified the worm. Stuxnet may have been deployed already but we don't know about it because some companies won't disclose breaches he said. As security expert Tomer Teller said this is a very sophisticated uh, virus and uh, uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg I believe at this point in time uh, he's already stated that a, a nuclear warhead can basically be controlled by this particular worm and uh, from an outside source can be taken over and redirected in any direction that uh, uh, the person in, uh, that is, ta is taking control wishes to take it. In essence possessing nuclear warheads may no longer be the uh, uh, power center for a country but the ability to control those nuclear warheads if in fact someone is uh, will be able in the future to take the very warheads that you've created and uh, take control of those warheads and use them against the very nation who created them it makes me wonder if this is not the uh, very thing that will happen during the, the war of Gog and Magog in which these many uh, different countries come against Israel and are overwhelmingly destroyed. Is it possible that uh, the next world war that Israel will possess this technology and will use it to take over the weapons that come against them? Well it's hard to say but clearly this is the next technology that could alter the race toward nuclear weapons. Clearly the future of nuclear power may not be in the hands of those with the best nuclear bombs or weapons but may be in the hands of those who can ultimately take over these particular bombs. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.